queen cell right here, folks. So this colony must have recently swarmed. So lots of brood, but no queen. We do see lots of queen cells. So a new queen will hatch out, and she'll hopefully mate in my bee yard and thrive. on this one basically we got all the comb out two frames of brood in the nuke box and now i'm just trying to chase them out but i got all the comb out and i'm just kind of rearranging the block to make sure they don't know where their entrance are so that'll they'll, they'll go right to the box and so far so good There's a lot of bees there yeah actually for a little tiny two little bricks that was nice about three sections of two foot comb yeah <laughs> i got all the old comb laid out on the on the wood here and then they'll acclimate to the entrance. Okay, so we're in the uh, back of my yard here. My bee yard is just over that fence. I took a frame of honey from one of my other stronger colonies and we're gonna go put it inside of that cinder block cutout that we just did. Uh, this will give them a little bite to eat. Uh, they got nice honey stores, both sides. It's loaded up with uh, nectar in the cells, inside the cells there. It's now about maybe two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's been a couple of hours. I just had a good lunch. And uh, now we'll go back and check them out. Okay, super cool update, folks. So the cutout that we did from the cinder blocks over there, well, guess what? Uh, I found where their swarm is right here, right in front of this tree. Take a look. It's a beautiful, beautiful cluster of bees. And my real interest is the queen. I really wanna find the queen. But what I'm gonna do for method number one, attempt number one, we have the bees, uh, maybe about 10 feet up in the air, maybe 11 or 12 feet, but I have a box on a screen bottom board with a queen excluder underneath and it's on top of a six foot ladder. So I'm gonna use a two by four, nice long two by four here to hit the tree branch and shake them down. So they should fall and they'll go into the box. How many fall is to be determined, but uh, that's option one. If this doesn't work, then my second option will be to use the bucket on a long pole technique to see if they recluster. But let's take a look. There is a cotton swab uh, with lemongrass oil. Let me see if I can position this camera so you guys can see. So you'll see the cluster of bees. They're right here. And uh, here we go. Attempt number one. That was kind of a miss, but uh, not too bad. We got a little cluster of bees down here. I don't see the queen. A little cluster of bees here. Again, I don't see the queen. And then we got a whole mess of bees here on the side. I used a, uh, a little uh, putty knife thing to kind of scrape the bees, scoop the bees to the side. I was looking for the queen very carefully, but didn't find her. There's still a cluster up on the branch. So we're gonna repeat the same step again. I moved the box a little to the right a little bit and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the swarm of bees is right there. So I'm going to try to shake them down. Okay, 
Well, still not finding the queen, folks. So we'll keep looking. They're taken to the pox pretty well. I almost think I'm hearing queen piping, but to be honest, I don't know. We got a little cluster up here. I ain't done trying yet. Anybody who spots this queen gets a free ice cream. Yep, I'm pretty sure she's inside the box because I have not yet located the queen. But the good news is they're not occupying the branch anymore. And I moved them down off the ladder. And I've been constantly looking for the queen, but no go. So I'm pretty confident Clean is inside the box. We'll come back when it gets dark out. Well, folks, it's uh, 6.40. The sun should be setting here in another hour. I'm gonna say that the queen is inside the box because if she was outside the queen excluder, she would be flying and these bees would be clustered near her. This was a double whammy. Uh, let's go check on the tool shed and see how those bees in the shed are doing. And again, this is where the parent colony came from. And they're still going in and out. Just fine. And remember we do have queen cells. I assume once it gets dark the bees will again go inside the, the box. So we'll come back in about an hour or so and we'll block off this entrance. And we'll relocate these, uh, these bees. This colony did not really have any honey stores. Every comb was pretty dry. Maybe that's because they just swarmed. But I'm happy I was able to get not only the swarm in the tree, but get these bees out of the cinder block. A little more room so they can uh, grow a little larger. And with any luck, the uh, queen cells will hatch out. So we'll see how it goes. I'll come back in about another hour or so once it gets darker.
Thank you.